polynomials. We're going to, uh, in the next uh, few videos, we'll be talking about adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing polynomials. But before we do, we need to have a basic understanding of what a polynomial, polynomial is. And so to help us with that, we're going to use sort of a model idea and get a perception of what a polynomial looks like. I have some uh, diagrams here and a few notes. It says modeling polynomials. Polynomial, polynomials can be modeled by using diagrams or algebra tiles. And algebra tiles can be, uh, you can sign those out at school and uh, in order to, to use them in order to help you doing some of the questions from the textbook. But uh, I've just drawn some diagrams here that look kind of like uh, the tiles. And um, what we're going to do here is we're going to just uh, use this as a model to understand them. Okay, so first of all, I have a, a square. And this square is the length on one side is x, and it's a square, so it's every side is x. And the area, so the area of this thing will be length times width, right, times width, which is just x times x, or in other words, x squared. So the area is x squared. And uh, the next next uh, diagram over, the um, length of this thing is x, okay, but the width of it is just one. We're going to call it the unit one. Call it, and so the area of this thing is just length times width again, which is x times one, which is one x, or just x times one is just x. It's one times anything is just the uh, what's multiplying. Okay, so the area of this thing, the area equals x, the middle one. A equals x. The last picture, little diagram here, is uh, this is just a one by one little square. And so the area of this thing is just one length times width, which equals one. So the area equals one of this thing. If I was to put these three together in a polynomial, it would look like this. x squared, big one is the next one x squared, plus the area of the next one is x, plus the area of the last one is one. x squared plus x plus one. So one x squared plus one x plus one. We don't write the ones in there. Uh, not necessary. We know if there's an x squared, it means there's one of them. Uh, now, if I have, uh, well, we'll do use this in a second. We'll show how this works. But in the next uh, little pictures diagrams underneath this, they're the same shapes, but they're a different color. This one's just white, and uh, these ones we're gonna they're gonna be the opposite of what the green ones are. So they're gonna be opposite. It just means change the signs. The area of this one is negative x squared. It's almost like uh, matter and antimatter type thing. And if I put those together, they would just give me 0. x squared minus x squared is just 0. Um, the next one, the area of the next one, area equals negative x. And the last one, the area equals negative 1. So this polynomial would look like this. Negative x squared minus x minus 1. Well, let's take what we've just modeled here and go down below here. Write the math mathematical expressions which these models represent. Well, this is an x squared. This is another x squared. So that would be what? That would be two x squareds. Well, this is a minus, a minus x another minus x, another minus x. So minus one is three minus x is there, so that's minus three x's. Maybe the area is x, it's minus x because it's, it's white. And these ones are one by one squares. And how many of them are there? There's four. So this is a one. That's one, that's one, and that's one. And that just makes positive four. So the polynomial that rep this represents would be 2x squared minus 3x plus 4. That's a trinomial. 
that it represents. So I can just kind of picture it like that. Actually, if instead of just if I just gave you two x squared minus three x plus four as an expression, and you know that's just kind of a something that what what is it? You don't know, it don't know, it makes doesn't make any sense. But if I picture with these pictures, it gives it a bit of a, makes it have a bit of a sense to it. You can kind of visualize it. Well, the first one here, this next set of diagrams below, just change the color here, is um, this is a minus x squared. Remember from above. And here we have an x, an x, an x, and an x, and we have a, this is a minus 1. So what does this polynomial look like? Negative x squared plus 4x's, it's a positive 4x's, minus 1. And there's another polynomial we can represent by just drawing some pictures. So let's just model some of these things. Let's use the same idea. So 6x is, if I'm going to model this thing, I'm just going to try and draw it. So if I have 6x, it'll look something like this. There's 1, and it's filled in, right? It's all filled in. And 2, these are pretty rough shapes, but it gives us an idea of what we're, uh, what we're doing. And we need to draw how many of these things? Well, that's 3, 4, it's filled in because it's positive. We have two more to go because there's six of them. Six of these long shapes. So there's six X's. And then we have five, two, three, four, five. And they're not filled in because it's negative, it means they're just plain white. The other ones are filled in. These ones, the other ones are blank. I'm just going to put a little bit more here. Okay, and that is a representation of 6x minus 5. Let's model the next one. The next one, 3x squared, well, how would I model this one? In this example here, I would make a square. And how many squares do I have? How many x squared do I have? I have three of them, and they're positive, so that means I have to fill them in. So I just kind of fill these in. They kind of look like there's some color in them. They're not white, just plain white, but they're filled in with some color. So that's three x squareds. Here's an x squared here, an x squared there, and another x squared. Okay, and we have four x's, so that means I have to do this, two, three, four. And those are positive, so I fill them in two. And lastly, so it's x, 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 and x. And lastly, I have minus 2. There's no x's there. I'm just going to put little cubes, two of them. And they're hollow. They're empty. I'm going to leave them white because they're minus. So this gives me the 2x squared, sorry, 3x squared. So 1, 2, 3, and then plus 4x, and then minus 2. So uh, I hope that helps a little bit as far as understanding how this uh, what a polynomial looks like and how to deal with them